Welcome to my YouTube channel which focuses mainly on free board exam reviewer for fisheries professionals. This is the first episode of Study With Me in which you can just plug in your earphones and listen to the audio whenever and wherever you are as I read important study materials. Surrounding Nets A surrounding net is a long piece of net that is constructed mostly from rectangular sections of netting framed by ropes and catches fish by surrounding a school of fish. In a surrounding net, a head rope, also called headline or float line, with numerous floats runs across the top of the net, while a weighted foot rope, or called fishing line, runs along the lower edge. The netting is generally comprised of small mesh sizes to minimize fish becoming enmeshed. Netting materials are usually comprised of polyamide or polyester that have densities higher than that of seawater to increase the netting sink velocity. For nets used in shallow waters, the foot rope may come into contact with the seabed. There are two types of surrounding nets, purse scenes with a purse line and other surrounding nets without a purse line. Pursings. A person is a wall of netting designed to encircle a school of pelagic fish near the surface and use a purse line to close the bottom of the net. Pursings use weights, lead lines, or chain attached to the foot rope and dense netting materials such as PA or PAS or PA the polyamide and PS the polyester to increase the sinking velocity of the net to prevent fish from escaping horizontally. The purse scene is characterized by a purse line threaded through purse rings spaced along the bottom edge of the net through which the purse line can be drawn tight, hence purse stain. The middle sections of the netting are deepest and gradually taper towards the wing and the bunt where fish finally accumulate. The bunt can also be at the middle of the net. In this case, hauling starts from both wings. Please see figure 2 for the anatomy and components of a purse scene for which the bunt is at the wing. So you have the head rope, the float, the bunt at the wing, the netting, which can either be polyamide or polyester, foot rope with chain, purse ring, and the purse line. When a target fish school is identified, the vessel maneuvers into a favorable position and the same net is prepared for deployment. The vessel follows a course around the edge of the school, attempting to encircle it. With the net fully deployed, ropes attached to the ends of the net are held in order to close the seam around the school. At the same time, the purse line is drawn to close the seam net beneath the school. Typically, the head rope is longer than the foot rope, so as to reduce tension and prevent it from submerging, which can result in fish escaping over it. The purse scene is the most important fishing gear in marine capture fisheries in terms of the quantity of fish landed. According to recent FAO statistics, this gear accounts for about a third of total marine landings. Technologies that enhance the catch efficiency of modern purse scenes include solar-powered, satellite-linked buoys for drifting fish aggregating devices, equipped with an echo sounder, bird radar, and spotter planes or helicopters for locating surface schools, high-speed boats for deflecting fast-moving schools toward the net, and high-density purse scene netting to ensure that net sinks rapidly and prevents fish from escaping. 
see figure 3, modern purse scene encircling a free swimming fish school. A fish aggregating device, or FAD, is a permanent, semi-permanent, or temporary structure which is deployed and or tracked and used to aggregate fish for subsequent capture. A fish aggregating device can either be an anchored FAD, which is often deployed within a nation's exclusive economic zone, or a drifting FAD, which is often deployed in the high seas. Both anchored FADs and drifting FADs are utilized by purse seine vessels. Anchored FADs are often set in coastal areas but can be set in archipelagic and or offshore waters at depths greater than 2,000 meters. In addition to purse seines, anchored FADs are also often utilized by small-scale hook and line fishers. The large numbers of drifting FADs deployed by industrial purse seine vessels operating within exclusive economic zones and on the high seas have resulted in numerous FADs becoming abandoned, lost, or otherwise discarded. See Figure 4, a drifting fish aggregating device for aggregating pelagic species. The marker may not be separated from the surface floating structure. Drifting fish aggregating device main components. Surface floating structure. Marker with electronic transmitter. Underwater structure. FEDs typically consist of surface components, underwater components, and a marker to indicate or report its position. Drifting FADs often have a marker with an electronic transmitter, sometimes linked to a satellite communication. Anchored FADs have a rope leading to an anchor or weight on the seabed, while earlier FADs were mostly made from natural degradable materials. The use of plastics for FADs has increased in recent decades, contributing to the marine plastic litter burden when FADs are abandoned, lost, or discarded. Some important purse seine fisheries include the Anchoveta in Gaulis Ringens, fisheries in Peru and Chile, Atlantic herring, Hulpea harangus, and Atlantic ma mackerel, Scombers combus fisheries in the Northeast Atlantic, as well as skipjack tuna fisheries in all major oceans. 1.2. Surrounding nets without purse lines. A surrounding net without a purse line is a long wall of netting that is designed to surround fish at the surface or in shallow water, but without the use of a purse line. In this type of net, the foot rope is much shorter than the head rope. As a result, when the net is retrieved, tension in the foot rope pulls the wall of netting ahead of the head rope to prevent fish from escaping downwards. The gear can be operated by one or two bolts. The lampara net is the most representative type in this category. A lampara net has a central bunt with smaller mesh and two long wings, making it possible to surround the fish when the wings are held simultaneously through attached ropes. Lampara nets are often used at night with the assistance of light to attract and concentrate small pelagic fish so they can be easily surrounded by the net. Lampara nets are often used in coastal areas to catch bait fish for hook and line fisheries, especially for pole and line fishing for tuna. Lampara nets are also used in lakes and rivers for harvesting small pelagic fish near the surface. 
Lampara nets may have originated in the Mediterranean where lights were used with a net, as indicated by the Italian word lampo. But similar nets have been used in many countries such as China, Japan, and the Philippines. The net was introduced to California by Italians at the beginning of the 20th century for sardine, mackerel, and squid. The net is also used in Florida for bait fish such as half bakes. See figure 5, Lampara net, a type of surrounding net without a purse line.